I want to do a short short tutorial on the eclipse that's going to be coming up on the 21st of August. Uh, this is called the Great American Eclipse, and I'm going to show the difference between here in um, beautiful Burke, Virginia, and uh, we got to change it to the 22nd. You can see there's the moon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on the sun. And I'm going to center the sun. And I'm going to zoom out in time a little bit. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And you can see there's the moon. I'm going to make it an hour. And then I'm going to make it closer and closer. And right there is first contact. And you can see the moon is starting to take a bite out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to time. And I'm going to speed up time a little bit. A little bit more. And you can see the eclipse factor up here. I'm at about 4%. And we're going to find out that uh, here in Burke, uh, we're going to get about 80, uh, mid-80s. Um, I don't know exactly what the number is. This is the reason I'm not going to stay here in uh, Northern Virginia. But as you can see, the moon is actually eclipsing the sun. It's moving in between us. And the neat thing about our moon is it's 400 times smaller, but it's also 400 times closer than the sun. So in our sky, it makes it just about the exact same size. Now the moon does get closer to the Earth, making it a little bit bigger, about 10% bigger. The sun actually gets closer, 14% bigger, 14% smaller than normal. So if we can actually get a small sun and a big moon, we can actually get a long eclipse. But and if I go to play here, and let me go back just a tad, you can see that the moon doesn't cover. And if I go to play here, this is about the best eclipse you're going to see. Uh, what happens with the human eye is the human eye, as the sky gets darker, your pupa gets larger. And what's going to probably happen with this much sun is you're not even going to notice that it's getting darker outside. If you have uh, Eclipse safety glasses and you can watch this, then you can actually see it and watch it get smaller and smaller in terms of the sun's illuminated area being visible. And it looks like we were uh, mid-90s, excuse me, 80s. Uh, actually, it looks like it's even low 80s because now I'm getting lower again. But the neat thing we can do with this one is I can actually pick different places. And this is a program called Stellarium, which is a free download. And I can actually pick the location window. And I'm going to pick Charlotte now. And I want to go back. And I lost it. I want to center on the sun. I want to zoom in. And, okay, so you can see the moon are located right here. And I'm at 1245. This is uh, daylight savings time, and I'm going to speed up time. And the neat thing about Charlotte here, if I can show you this map. Charlotte is sitting uh, just a little bit out of... And it doesn't show me percentages, but just a little bit out of this swath, uh, which is going to have the total eclipse. And then we really want to be located on the center. So I'm going to show you Charlotte. And I'm also going to show you what's uh, another nice one on it. Uh, probably show you Columbia. So let's go back here. See the moon's getting a little bit closer. Let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit more. Okay, and first contact happened in about 1, 12, 13, 12 on the 21st afternoon. And I'm going to go ahead and push play a little faster. And you can see there's contact. And you can watch the eclipse. It's moving much faster. And... Let me speed up time. You can see the seconds moving there. And you can see that the center part is a lot higher on this one. And we're going to get somewhere 
70s, 80s, 85, 90, 90. And it looks like about 97, but you can still see a little bit of the sun. And again, you're going to have a tough time actually finding it. Um, as an eclipse and finding it dark outside, it will darken, but it will not get dark. Okay, so let's actually find... Uh, Columbia, South Carolina. And let's go back. And let's push play. You can see the moon sitting right there. There's the edge of the moon. And I'm going to kick it a little faster. And now I'm going to move it back. First contact. At around 113, 13, 13. And if I push play a little faster, and what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to zoom out. Actually, let me go back a little faster. And you can see I'm at 90. Ninety one, ninety two, and I'm going to zoom out. And you see, we're looking sort of in the southwestern sky, ninety six percent. And let's see if you can tell me when this eclipse happens. 98, 99, and there's the eclipse. And the eclipse is going to last for about 2 minutes and uh, 20 seconds here. And we should actually see a nice beautiful sky. You will see Venus, you will see Jupiter. I don't know if you're going to see Mars. And okay, we've actually located, let me go back. Let me push normal time. Okay, you will see Venus, you will see Jupiter, you may actually be able to see Mercury, you probably be able to see Mars. I don't know if it's going to get dark enough for you to see Procyon, Capella, or Sirius really close to the horizon, but you will get to see stars and you will get to see some of the major planets. Um, I'm not sure about Mercury close to the sun. You can also see what's called Bailey's beads. Um, because the moon has got craters and, moon and mountains and things, it doesn't quite cover it up as it actually first covers the sun and also leaves. And you'll may also see a diamond ring where the very first part of the moon lights up right before it gets totally eclipsed. And then right as the moon moves off, you'll see maybe see a diamond ring on this side. Um, so along with some other totally cool uh, aspects but so we can actually move let's move a little faster in time and eventually the moon will move off and you'll actually see the sky almost instantly turn back into uh, light of day and that was the eclipse and this is the beauty of watching the eclipse from inside this line and getting as close to the center as you can. Um, I am going to be located, uh, uh, we're actually going to fly into St. Louis and then we're going to move into uh, St. Louis, where is St. Louis? Okay, St. Louis is just a little bit outside, and we're going to move to Carbondale. And the reason I'm picking Carbondale is because this is the eclipse 2017, August 21st. That's this line, and you can see Carbondale is really close to it. And then this is an eclipse that's going to happen, uh, I think, in April 2024. I'll tell you more about it as we get closer. Um, but its center line is going to be located right here, and the two center lines actually happened just south of Carbondale and I'm going to try to actually be really close to that location uh, so that I can actually go to this location twice uh, one in 2017 and then uh, looks like about seven years later 2024 uh, 
Okay, that should do it. Um, please get as close to this center line as you can get. You want to get in that center line. I know you can't see uh, the delineation in here, but basically the longest point is the middle of this center section. And then it goes by, uh, I think, 10 seconds each one. So they're saying that this is 240, so it's 230, 220, 210, 2 minutes, 150, 140, 130. And then you get to this point and you don't get a total eclipse. So if you're located here in Kansas City, um, you're located right on the line, you're not going to see a total eclipse. And if you just move an extra 10 miles and get inside of here, it'll make it the difference basically between day and night. Where if you're this close to it, you're going to see daytime and it'll get darker. But if you're this time, you're going to see night. And then the closer you can get to this center line, the longer the eclipse. Longest point, the elongation is going to be in this location right here. So it actually just goes from Illinois to Kentucky. I think someplace right around here is the longest point. Uh, 2 minutes and 43 seconds. Uh, they have it all mislabeled right here. Um, and unfortunately, if I went to St. Louis to get to Carbondale, and I probably should have gone to Louisville and driven down into here, this location. But we're talking about 3 seconds of to totality between this point and a little bit longer at that point. So that is the eclipse. Please get as close to the center line as you can. Uh, you can wait to the 2024, and again, that one's going to slide up through here. Um, that one will not touch the United States as well as this one. It's also not going to be a very long eclipse because I think either the sun is going to be too large or the moon is going to be a little bit smaller than normal. But that's it. Take care. Bye.